girls and girls, it's Ashley Optic Midnight and I'm super stoked to be bringing you guys this video today because I wanted to talk about the Call of Duty Championships. Uh, maybe if you guys have been either living under a rock or you just don't follow the competitive scene in Call of Duty that much, I wanted to tell you guys about what's going to be going down this weekend, what winning this tournament really means uh, and how excited I am to just watch it and be a spectator because that's what I am. I'm not... I'm not a, com a pro player. I don't consider myself to be a competitive player. I do play it uh, for fun, uh, but I am by no means like your nade shots, your scumps. Those those guys are so amazing uh, at, at Call of Duty. And so anyways, uh, if you don't know uh, what this tournament is this weekend, is it's a tournament that's put on by Activision and Treyarch. So it's like an official Call of Duty, like Call of Duty Elite tournament, I guess you could call it. Um, and it's for a total prize uh, value of one million dollars. That's right, one million, like a milli, like six zeros after the one. I'm serious, this is for a million dollars. Obviously the winners don't get a million dollars, but the first place team does get $400,000, which, uh, you know, I have the money camo on in this gameplay. I got the money reticle. I thought it fit well with what I was talking about because this is a lot of money to be playing for. Uh, so like I said, the winning team gets $400,000, that's 100 k for each person after taxes, I believe. I heard it comes out to either anywhere from ninety dollars to $93,000 uh, for taxes. Depends on your tax test. Anyway, uh, so obviously Optic Gaming won the first uh, tournament that was like this. There was there, I got killed off my swarm, I was so pissed. I was really close, oh well. Uh, I do end up getting a swarm here though with my money gun. Uh, but anyway, uh... Optic Gaming ended up winning the very first Call of Duty XP or the first Activision Treyarch or not Treyarch uh, Activision Infinity Ward tournament. That was also for a prize pool of a million dollars. The first place team got 400k. So Optic has already won this tournament technically. Uh, obviously, at the time things were a lot different. Modern Warfare 3 was a brand new game. Not as many established teams were at that tournament as this one. So that's why I'm so excited for this one because the way that you qualified to get into this tournament and the way that uh, you basically had to prove yourself to get into this tournament, I thought was really cool. They did online qualifier qualifiers. They did qualifiers around the world. They had tournaments around the world. They had MLG Dallas. If you placed top eight, you got in. Uh, that's what Optic ended up doing. Uh, so it's going to be very exciting. And obviously, I'll, I'll link below uh, the teams that are actually going to be there. You can see that how they qualified or how they got there, where they're from. These are literally the best teams from around the entire planet. So really, the winner of this tournament is going to have incredible, not only uh, money on their side, but they're going to have incredible bragging rights. Uh, Farico Impact, there's actually three Farico teams, uh, if you don't know why that is, I'll explain it, um, Farico is like a, an ex organization, kind of how Optic Gaming is, it's basically like they have multiple teams within their organization, Farico Impact is the team that has Parasite and Karma and Killa, and I think the other guy's name is Mer or Mercs. I don't know how to say it. Not uh, not like Optic Merc, different. But anyway, uh, so yeah, they're the NA Farico team, and they actually won MLG Dallas. Then they went overseas and won EGL. They beat their their Farico counterparts there. So they're coming off of two huge wins, going into the biggest Call of Duty Black Ops 2 tournament of all time. This is going to be insane, guys. I don't know if you are excited for this, but I do hope that if you're new to competitive Call of Duty and you haven't, maybe you haven't watched it, or maybe you just haven't seen, like, like a pro player stream like Nadeshot or Rambo or, or people like that, you know, it'll be really cool to see how many people tune into this and see uh, if we can get some new people interested in competitive uh, gaming. Because like I said, I am I am a person that just commentates. I'm just somebody who who has fun playing video games and posts it. But that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate the, the competitive side of things. I do like to dabble once in a while in the competitive side of things, whether it's league play or scrimming or just uh, playing in some events. I think it's a it's a great time and it's it's so much more exciting in Black Ops 2 with the kill streaks. So I hope that uh, I hope that the Call of Duty championships go really well for Optic. Obviously, like I said, Farico's coming in hot off of two wins, uh, but Optic is never out. You know, when whenever there's high stakes, uh, Optic always plays well. So I'm really excited to see how Nate Shot, Merc, Scumpy, and Big T end up doing at this event. 
the three of them, uh, uh, there's four of them on our team, obviously, but the three of them have already won. Uh, Scumpy is the only one who hasn't won this tournament before, so it'll be exciting to see if they can get the W for Scumpy and get the two-peat for the rest of the boys. Anyways, I hope that you guys are cheering for Optic this weekend. Follow my Twitter if you want updates, and I'll be tweeting out the stream links if there's stream links uh, to be tweeted. So anyways, guys, I'm super stoked to watch the tournament this weekend. That's why I'm doing a commentary about it. I hope that you guys tune in, uh, cheer for Optic, or cheer for whatever team you want. Uh, be sure to put in the comment section below, who do you think is going to win? Uh, put that in the comment section below. I think that'd be awesome if you guys just put that down there. Who do you think is going to take this tournament? If you don't know who's playing, like I said, I'll put what teams are all going to be in there. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you later with more sniper content. Peace.